Herzlich willkommen hier bei Messe TV, bei der LearnTech hier in Karlsruhe. Bei mir internationale, eine internationale Koryphäe. Welcome here in Karlsruhe, it's so great to have you here. You come from the States, right to Karlsruhe, just for LearnTech? Absolutely, I came from New York City and uh, I'm very excited to be here. It seems like a great place and everyone's been very friendly. So your major field is e-learning, uh, comparing what is so important in this field? Well, I would say my field is not as much e-learning as it is games and games for learning. So I'm really interested in play and how play is the first way that we learn when we are very small. And how do we keep play in e-learning? How do we keep e-learning playful? The field is very large in, in, in games and there's a lot of games you don't want to use and a lot of games. How does the user find out which are the right games? Where to find them? I think we should look at the games that young people are playing now and we should try to understand what they're learning in these games, popular games, and then from that really try to develop curriculum around those games or make new games that connect to the games that are popular. I think the problem is oftentimes we try to make our own games without having an understanding of games themselves that are just for entertainment. So somebody told me the mother of all games is still jazz. Is this right or is there something more? Is there something more new development? The mother of all games is chess. Well, I think that you could say that if you lived in a Western European context, but I would say that the mother of all games might be something different depending on where you're from. And I think that right now video games have really become an interesting form. It's become a media. It's become something that is making more money than film at this point in terms of box office receipts. So I think that we should look at video games and try to understand them. How important is the cultural background for the people who playing the game or the people who develop the game? Oh, it's incredibly important. Games are part of culture. They've helped us create our identity and who we are. So we need to understand the games of different cultures in order to design for these cultures. So you are um, knowing a lot of games and you're playing a lot of games. Is there one favorite? Can you bring it down to one? This is what breaks my heart every time. It's like, what is that one favorite game? I would have to say right now, the game that I continue to go back to is a game that I play on my iPhone and it's called Drop Seven. And it's a very simple game, but I'm not sure it's my favorite, but it's definitely a game that I keep playing. So thank you very much. It was a big honor for you to have, for, for me to have you here. So, and a safe trip home. Thank you very much. Great. It's been an honor to be here and I hope that we can just learn to play more when we learn. That will be a good solution for the next year. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.